Let's explore the main causes for this. As I've already mentioned, one reason was industrialization. So if you recall, as more industries cropped up, there was an increase in employment opportunities. This led to people coming in from rural areas to take up these jobs. Another reason for urbanization was the unpredictability associated with agriculture. As we know, agriculture depends on rainfall, which we cannot exactly control. At times, when it doesn't rain and crops fail, farmers are left with absolutely nothing to harvest. In such cases, to earn, the rural people have to migrate to cities in search of jobs. Another reason for the continuation of urbanization was the availability of better facilities in cities. In a city, you could have access to good schools, hospitals and transport facilities. Everything you may need and even things you didn't think you may need are found in these cities. All these facilities make life more comfortable. This attracts many people to towns and cities from rural areas. Another reason is the increase in population due to the birth rate far exceeding the death rate. As population increases, there is a need for more space to accommodate the growing population. So cities start expanding to absorb the surrounding villages. I'll explain more about this soon. Let's explore the impacts that urbanization has on us as individuals and on the community as a whole. So first, let's talk about the positive impacts. Well, you can't overlook the comfort and convenience that comes with urbanization. There is greater access to better health, education and social services in urban areas compared to the rural areas. Another thing to note is that cities have really good transport facilities that are critical for urbanization. Funnily enough, these transport facilities have themselves led to increased urbanization. Another area that urbanization has influenced is education. With industrialization, new jobs came up. This created a need for people with relevant skills. This meant that there was a need to set up schools where people could acquire the necessary skills. As time went by, the number of industries as well as their variety increased. This resulted in the focus on education skyrocketing. So more schools, colleges and universities were established to train people. Another positive impact of urbanization is increased social integration. We already know that people from villages migrated to cities in search of work. This meant that people from different castes and religions came together in one place, the city. All these people ended up working together and this helped in breaking down prejudices and cultural barriers. This helped promote the development of a more integrated society that was more understanding, tolerating and accepting of different cultures. Also, there is no doubt that the increase in urbanization has resulted in a significant increase in the standard of living and quality of life of the people in the cities. Now, from all this, does it appear as if urbanization is all good? Yes? But it does have some negative effects. Do you want to know about this? Urbanization has spread and taken root in a lot of places since it first came about. What was initially a welcome treat has now turned sour. There have been many negative impacts due to incessant urbanization, which I have to deal with every day. 
And this is true for millions across the world. An increase in population in the cities, which aren't big enough to accommodate the surplus of people, is leading to the issue of overcrowding, which in turn has led to a scarcity of resources. Because of this, some people who are economically weak have to live in conditions that are not optimal. Examples of such groups of people can be found in slums. Also, a higher number of people in a given place, combined with scarcity of resources there, could lead to a higher incidence of crime. This is one of the reasons why number of thefts, robberies and murders have gone up in the recent years. These things tend to create fear and unrest in the society. With more and more industries cropping up and more and more vehicles on the streets, the amount of pollution in the atmosphere has also increased. This is proving to be bad for the environment. Another issue with urbanization is the increasing monotony of urban life. The cycle of work keeps us so busy that we seem to have lost our grasp on community life. Cities tend to have a lot of facilities in terms of health and education. And these facilities come at a higher price. This is one of the reasons why the cost of living in a city is higher and such costs may not always be affordable by people belonging to economically weaker sections. The high cost of living has yet another disadvantage associated with urbanization. Because it's so expensive to live in cities, it could be difficult to maintain joint families. This has contributed to an increase in the number of nuclear families. All of these negative effects are putting a lot of strain on us as individuals and also on our families. If you like this video and want to watch many many more amazing videos like these, like and subscribe to our channel now.